Hi, my name is Dr. Mithal and I'm a hepatologist at Baylor College of Medicine, Houston. I'm here today to discuss a paper on behalf of my co-authors, a paper recently published in CGH, uh, titled that Hepatocellular Carcinoma in the Absence of Cirrhosis in a U.S. Veterans is Associated with Non-Alcoholic Fatty Liver Disease. As we all know, hepatocellular carcinoma usually occurs in the presence of underlying cirrhosis. And however, 10 to 15 percent of patients we know it develops in the absence of cirrhosis. There are no systemic studies, especially from US, analyzing the risk factors and the proportion of patients who develop this condition. To answer this question, we analyzed data from the US National VA database. We identified 1500 cases of verified HCC. The unique part of our study was that we manually reviewed the electronic medical record of each HCC patient to categorize to identify the status of cirrhosis. So we categorized the state cirrhosis status into three categories. Level one was where we, we had very high probability of no cirrhosis. This was based on absence of cirrhosis on liver biopsy specimen within last one year of HCC diagnosis or explant or a resection specimen. In cases where we did not have tissue diagnosis, we relied on an APRI index, which was less than one, no imaging criteria of cirrhosis, and all lab parameters within normal parameters. So an individual had to satisfy all these criteria to be labeled as high probability of no cirrhosis. If we had any evidence of cirrhosis on biopsy or labs, or imaging or any evidence of decompensation, we label these patients as having cirrhosis. Out of a cohort of 1500 patients, 43 or about 3% patients had no evidence or very high probability of no cirrhosis. 151 or about 10% of patients had high probability of no cirrhosis. 1201 patients had HCC in the presence of cirrhosis. In about 7% of patients, we had insufficient evidence to categorize them into any of these categories. When we analyze the risk factor distribution in these three, three categories, we find that only 65% patients of NAFL-related SCC had evidence of cirrhosis at time of diagnosis. This compared to 89% of alcohol-related SCC and 91% cases of Hep C and 92% cases of Hep B related SCC had evidence of cirrhosis at time of diagnosis. And these results were statistically significant. We also analyzed logistic regression analysis to identify the association between risk factor and development of SCC in absence of cirrhosis. In the first model, we found that NAFL related SCC were five-fold likely to have HCC in the absence of cirrhosis as compared to Hep C related HCC. Uh, Similarly, metabolic syndrome had a, a also five-fold risk of developing HCC in the absence of cirrhosis as compared to Hep C related HCC. In conclusion, we found that 13% patients in the national VA database developed HCC in the absence of cirrhosis. And this entity was highly linked to, significantly linked to NAFLD or presence of metabolic syndrome. Our study confirms findings which have been reported from Japan, Germany, and also from US. What it does not give is the absolute risk. This is a retrospective study involving SCC patients at diagnosis. But what it prompts is for, or we hope that it further leads to further research to identify risk factors for developing SEC in these patients. Thank you for listening.